Uh, hello everyone. Uh, our topic for today is chapat. Last time we covered the mock chapat, which is uh, stepping down the voltage from DC fixed to DC variable. And today we will cover the boost chopper, which is the opposite. It will convert or step up the DC voltage from fixed into variable, which is this. Last time we covered this, and today we're gonna cover the boost chopper. This circuit is still the circuit for the box chopper. I'm gonna show you small technique, how to make it a boost. And this explanation is for both, that we use the, the Three techniques to control output uh, voltage, which is varying the T, uh, big T, which is fixed, and uh, using the pulse width modulation or varying the T while the T on is fixed. Okay, so this one here is varying the T on while T is fixed, and this one varying the big T, which is the time while the T on is fixed, and this is pulse frequency modulation, and this is varying both. both. Uh, so let's see right here. We're done with this last time, in the last lecture, and now uh, we're looking at this part, which is uh, stepping up the DC volt, and this is the V out, this is the equation for to find the V out. With this one here, to get this, you need to derive uh, using the uh, mathematics and uh, derivatives and everything to get this, but we don't have time to derive this. If you want to derive, you can go back to the, uh, to the textbook and you can derive this. But this is the V out that you need to know. Okay? So V out equals V source one minus duty cycle. So here the duty cycle, as we said last time, it cannot be one because if we have one minus one, it will be zero, and any voltage divided by zero, it will be infinity. And we cannot have that. Anyway, so this is the circuit for the buck from last time, from last experiment. I'm gonna show you a technique how to make this a boost but with small, uh, you know, playing with the, the devices. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take the inductor and you will place it here. So counterclockwise, you're gonna take the MOSFET and you're gonna place it here. And you're gonna take the power diode and you will place it here in the place of the inductor. So you look at those, you will just make one step counterclockwise and, and the circuit will be converted from buck chopper into boost chopper. Let's do it here. So this is inductor. Okay, I'm gonna erase. I'm gonna erase the inductor right here. I'm gonna put power diode. Okay. And now here, this is the switch, which is the MOSFET. I will erase and I will put inductor. Okay. And now I will erase the power diode right here, and I will put the MOSFET, which is the switch. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it as switch, but in reality it's a, uh, it's a MOSFET, it's this one right here. Okay, so that's the switch right here. Okay, I'll put it right here. That's the switch, okay, MOSFET. That's MOSFET. And this is the diode right here. Okay. And this is the inductor right here. And uh, this is the voltage here, which is the VL, the voltage across the inductor. And this is the voltage across the diode. And this is the voltage across the across the MOSFET, which is VG. Okay. Now, this is the boost. Now, that's the boost here. Okay, that's the boost. Last time, we had the capacitor, capacitor in the circuit, but we assume, I don't know if I mentioned that for you, we assume that it's not there, okay? But today, we will have the capacitor there, because the capacitor will, will, uh, will, uh, will play a big uh, role in our uh, boost uh, circuit. So let's see what will happen here. Okay, let me just reconnect uh, this so it becomes clear. Okay, let's see what will happen. We will have two cases as before. Either we will have a T on or T off. 
and for a certain uh, guilty cycle percentage, either 50%, 75%, 20%, and so on. Let's just say, let's assume it's the same percentage or same duty cycle, which is 50%. So now I have the switch right here. If I close the switch, which is the MOSFET, if it's closed, means on. So what will happen? The current is right here, guys. This is my uh, source, right? So the current will pass through the inductor. You think if it's closed, the current will go through the short circuit or it will go through the power diode. Of course, it will go through the power diode because this will be an open circuit. Okay? Because this part will be negative now. So what will happen here? The current right here, we call it IL. The current through the inductor, we call it IL. So what will happen in the inductor? When this is closed, the current will pass through. So the inductor, the current through the inductor is increasing. The current through the inductor is increasing, charging, right? When this is closed, that's my case, okay? MOSFET is closed, so switch closed. I'm gonna use red. So the current is right here now, okay? So inductor is, is charging. IL is increasing. I'm gonna draw it right there, guys. What's going on right here, guys? There is, I mean, actually, it's it's continuous process. On, off, on, off, on, off means before it's closed, it was open, right? So when this one was open, when this is was open, the current through here is released, is released to the power diode and it's going into two places. Some current going to, through the resistor, which is the load, and some going to the capacitor, which is charging as a voltage. We know, as we said, that the capacitor is a voltage storage, and the inductor is current storage. So what will happen? This will store voltage, and the current will pass. So that's I out. During, I mean, now, here, this will work as a battery. So when this one here is closed, when this is closed, the current here is passing through the inductor and passing through the short circuit. So this current is not passing there, but I already charged this before. I already charged the capacitor before. So now the capacitor will release. The capacitor will release and we call this I out. It will release through the inductor. So I have storage in the capacitor. The capacitor will work as a battery to release. So what's going on to the I out when this switch is closed? I'm still in the closed process. I out is decreasing because it was storage and now it's releasing. So it's decreasing. It's decreasing. So, when the switch is closed, when the switch is closed, let's come here. Okay, this is my gate, as we said before. This is my gate on, T on, T off. This is one T, T on, T off. Okay, this is T on, and this is T off. And this is 50%, duty cycle is 50%. So what's going on here? The switch, our case is closed. This is the case, closed. So it means it's on. So I have two currents. I have to look at two currents. IL, we said it's increasing because it's charging. But I out is because it, we, during, this, during this time, which is when the switch is closed, we get the current from the capacitor. So it's releasing. So I out is decreasing. So here, you guys see from last time what's going on right here? I out was increasing when the switch is off. In the, in the boost, the I out will decrease. So this is not here, it will go like this. It's the opposite, guys. This is the opposite. So now up. This 
discharge, charge, discharge, charge, discharge. That's I out. The opposite uh, in boost, the opposite uh, is uh, to buck. So buck was the opposite to boost. Okay? Don't be confused. This is the case of the switch is closed. Current, I source will come here. It's not going through the power diode. So the IR is increasing because it's charging. That's when the switch is closed. Okay, I, this, I'm drawing I out now, which is this. I'm not drawing I L. I L I don't have it right here, but I will draw, I will draw it right here, no problem, I L. So I will see what's going on. I, I L here. Okay, that's I L. So I will see what's going on. When the switch is closed, I L is increasing. So I L is increasing. That's correct here. Okay. And same for the same process when the switch is closed, we said that this was you know stored some voltage from voltage from before and during this process it will release. So I out is decreasing. We did this. But what's going on to I L when the switch is off? When the switch is open. I L. So let's let's open the switch. Open the switch. What will happen here now? Is it charging? No. Now which will release? It's discharging. So when this switch is open, now I have stored current. Well, I have stored magnetic field as current, and it will release. So now it will release. So it will go down here, discharging charging, discharging, charging, that's I L, okay, I diode, what's going on to I diode, I diode, it will, the current I L, it will discharge, same as this, but I will not draw it for you, but duly when this is closed, nothing right here. When this is closed, nothing right here. When this is closed, current will pass through the short circuit, and this is an open circuit, nothing is here. It will work as two circuits. This is a circuit, and this is another circuit, because the capacitor will release, and nothing is right here. But when it's open, now the same amount of current, which is IL, is here. So if I want to draw, I diode, I will have it with the switch only when the switch is open. When the switch is open, which is this, that's correct. Still, this is okay for I diode. That's okay for I diode. I out is here, I out is here, I diode is this. Uh, voltage, now we have a capacitor, guys. And we know what the capacitor do. It's a regulator, guys. You see here? Last time we assumed that we don't have a capacitor, but actually I drove it for you and I forgot to erase in the buck. But now we will have a capacitor and we will see the capacitor will make, it depends on the size. The bigger the capacitor, the more straight output voltage. The smaller the capacitor, we will have a ripple because it will take more time to decrease. So let's see here, that's the, V diode, and that's the VQ, which is the which is this. I say put V here. This is VQ. VQ is for the MOSFET guys, and that's for the V diode. But I am interested in the in the V out guys. I am interested in the V out. Okay, the V out will follow the I out guys. You guys see this here? Because the V out is this. V out is right here. So what will happen right here, guys? When I out, when this switch is closed, we said this will this, this will charge and the current will go through the switch, through the short circuit. 
and this one right here will release and I out will go down because it will release. It will keep decreasing, decreasing till it's done. So I out when the switch is closed is decreasing. So V out, let me draw V out here, guys. Let me keep this one as a V out, okay? Uh, because it was V diode last time, so it's to the negative. We draw it to the negative now. We can have it here. Let's see. So V out, we said that I out during with the switch is closed. So the switch is closed right here. That's the time. Or well, that's the, the you know the, the, the time with the pin with the switch is closed. So we said it will decrease. Yeah, because V out when I out is going down, V out is going down. So here switch is closed, it will go down like this. Down. But when the switch is open, I as I source will go through the inductor. So uh, and the inductor was charged before. It's it's full. It will release now. So this current will pass through, and this one is going up because now pay attention to this point, guys. I have V source and I have V L. This is V L, guys. I have so I have two V Ls. Sorry, I have two volts, okay? And if you add together, guys, if this is 120 and there is a voltage right here, it will be more. So that's why we have a boost. So actually, they will be added together. So imagine two volts added together. What will happen now and everything, and the current now is going to the eye out, so the eye out is increasing. So eye out is increasing when the switch is open. So when the switch is open, when the switch is open, I think, I, I think I, yeah, I make a mistake right here, guys. Sorry. When the switch is closed, yeah, this is the switch closed, yeah, okay. When the switch is closed, this will release, so I out will go down, that's correct. But when the switch is open, when the switch is open, this is a switch closed. Sorry, guys. Switch closed is this with T on. Switch is closed means T is on. So when the switch is closed, the capacitor will release. So I out will go down. Yeah, this one will go down with the right. <laughs> when the switch is open, which is this open means up. Open means off. I out will increase because I have the current coming from the source. Coming from the source. Plus the current that it will be stored in the inductor. So I will have a big current. So here I will have I out is increasing. So if I out is increasing, the V out is increasing. So it will be like this. Then discharging, charging, and so on. So here, if we compare V out, can V out be like this? Yes, it can be like this if the capacitor is small. So we need a better capacitor to have it bigger. Can the capacitor be almost straight like this? Yes, if the capacitor is huge, we can have it almost straight. But we will keep it like this, V out, okay? That's V out. Okay, pay attention to this point, guys. And if you just confused, you can go back um, in the video and watch. Uh, v, VQ here. We will have a voltage. We will have a, we will have current, which is I source I am. We will have current when the switch is closed. But this is the voltage. We will have a voltage. When, when the switch is closed, when the switch is closed, I have I will have no voltage. When the switch is open, I will have a voltage. So this is the same, no change. And this one here, if I change the duty cycle and make it 75, same as what we have done in the buck. So if the if the duty cycle is 75, you look at everything. Uh, let's, I'm going to draw the two currents. 
for you. So this is the duties item here. I will erase this. Okay. And I will keep the duties item with uh, green. And I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the blue and uh, the blue and red. I'm gonna use the red for the for the eye out. Okay, for the eye out. So eye out, eye out for the red here. Eye out. So what will happen for the eye out? We said. When the, when, the, when the switch is closed, nothing is going there from the source. The current is going to come in here because it's a short circuit. The only current that will come to the load is, the, is from the capacitor. The capacitor will release, will work as a battery. So it will release means it will keep losing, losing, means I out is decreasing. So when the switch is closed, switch is closed, I out is, I out is decreasing, so it will collect. That's I out. When the switch is open, now I will have the I source, V source, plus the current, the I source, plus the current here, it will come here, so I out will increase. increase. Then discharge, then charge, and then discharge, and so on. That's I out. If I look, that's I out. I L. I L. Let's see I L, guys. When the switch is closed, it will charge it. It will keep increasing. So when the switch is closed, here it will increase. Then when the switch is open, it will release. So this current will keep decreasing. So this one here, the blue is I am and the uh, red is I out. That's boost, guys. Okay, this is the equation for the boost to find V out. Um, and let me just go over some points in your textbook. As I told you, make sure you look at page uh, 211 to 220 in your textbook and in your notes, page 72 to 77. Okay, here, please, in your textbook, uh, your topic is here, section 6.5, okay? Uh, those, this is the analysis when, uh, for the switch is closed, and this is the analysis for the switch is open, same as what we said. And uh, uh, this is the equation 6-27, which is V out equals V source 1 minus duty cycle. This is the derivation here. And uh, I want you to highlight equations 628 and 629, 630. This one is to find I max and I min, okay? Make sure you know how to uh, use this equation right here. I'm gonna try to do one example for you guys, but make sure, how, uh, make sure you know how to find I max and I min using those two equations. You'll have the values just applying uh, to this equation and you will find I max. I max and I min is this. This point here, we call it I max. And this point right here, we call it I, I min. Okay? And to have the current continuous, and it's continuous, it depends on the inductor. So we have to know the amount of inductor to have a continuous current. And this one right here is equation 632. This one is the minimum amount of inductor to have continuous current. You need to highlight this equation, which is 6-32. I want you to uh, also highlight equation 6-34. And uh, I want you to look at two examples. Example uh, 6-4 and page 216. And example 6-5 in page 217. And um, highlight equation. 6-39 in page 219 and 6-42 in page 219 and with this we're done with the boost chop okay um
that's uh, Bakkan Boost. There's another topic in the textbook which is Bak Boost, but we're not covering that. The only topics are covered in our uh, course is Bak Chopper and Boost Chopper. Um, see you in the next lecture, guys. Take care.